Lee, and today we are taking a tour of Smith Built Hats. And with us is Brian Hansen, one of the co owners of Smith Built Hats. And Brian, we're wanting to learn today how a cowboy hat is made. So take us through the process. All right, well, first of all, this is how we get the material in. We get it from all over the world. Uh, there's different grades of hats, so there's wool felt, fur felt, and then you start getting the fur into it. Makes a better hat. Uh, a lot of the rabbit fur I get out of Portugal, and the white wool that we get in City Calgary hats comes out of Portugal. And then the good pure beaver stuff I get out of Tennessee. Hmm. So you it think comes beaver in, you'd get out of Canada? Well, there's nowhere in Canada the process is fur. Interesting. Yeah. At all, any fur? No. Well, not fur hats. Not hat fur. Yeah. It's a different kind of fur. Yeah. They it all probably buy it from Canada, but yeah. the process is done there. So, and some of it's from Czechoslovakia. But, I'll take you through the first step. We get it uh, colored already. There's different size bodies for making different size hats. So Jody would need what size, do you figure? Generally. Can you look right, can you tell just from looking? No. Well, oh. Give me magic head yeah. measurements? Yeah. Oh. Actually, the My husband's about the size of a watermelon. <laughs> hat size is basically the circumference in inches divided by pi. So there's some serious math involved in hat making. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. There's a chart. <laughs> Good. So I might be able to do it if I needed to. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. If you got pi on. Okay, so this is a wool body. So is this one of the white white hat kind of hats yeah, that you doing? Yeah, so this is what we do for the city. All right, yeah, and uh, who's kind of the coolest person that you've ever white hatted or made a hat for, do you figure? Probably the, the royalty when they were Royalty? Probably. William and Kate? Yeah, oh, see, Jody is nodding crazily over there. Yeah. Crazily, because <laughs> she's a, a royal fanatic. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But, yeah, we've done lots of Pavarotti, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse? <laughs> but yeah, we've done a lot, and Kevin Cost and did all kinds of movies. So we've done a lot of famous people. But the first step, this is another old machine. It's probably 150 years old. Wow. You can see all the blocks here. So and okay, so blocking. That's this is blocking. That's a blocking machine. Okay. So we because get the right blocks. size of brass rig. There's the right size that corresponds to the wood block. And, uh, Oh, yeah. Can I go back here? Yeah, oh, you can. Yeah. Ooh, so that's what? Steam? Yeah. All right. There's a stiffening agent in the body, which is heat activated. Okay. You warm it up, it gets pliable. You can feel how it's stiff. Yeah. It's going to get okay. soft from the steam. How long does that normally take? Just line up to warm it up. You can shape it, is that? You could do a facial. <laughs> Two visits in one. Kind of fell out of the teeth here. Okay, does that what does that mean? You start over? Well, I just gotta put make it sure back the in. brim is under the teeth. Alright. As that cools now, it's going to stiffen right up again. All right. So and basically, so with the wool hat, we let them dry overnight. With the fur hats, I let them dry on the block for about a week, and then we'll sand the sand the longer hairs off to get the, the right texture to the hat. So that's what you can see these ones sitting here. They're on the blocks drying. All right. And so does does the block match your hat size? Yeah. Oh, it's already stiffening. And do you think it's Part of what makes a Smithfield hat a Smithfield hat. Oh, for sure. Because I mean, yeah. this is obviously 
We're doing it You're the doing same it way they did 100 years ago. Yeah. yeah. So these are all at 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Too, so that's rubber. That's a die and saddle. Okay. So the die is aluminum. We have different shapes, but the good hats I hand shape them. But on the wool hats, it's not you say that so casually, but that's got to be an art. Yeah, it's it's hard to get onto. <laughs> It's easier after you do 10,000. I suppose. So between the heat oh, okay. and we're going to put about 30 pounds pressure to that. Between the heat and the pressure, it's going to stamp that shape into the hat. So that takes some real muscle. Yeah. Yeah. You do 200 a day. Yeah. Yeah, you probably out. got nice, nice pipes then. I wish. <laughs> you think after twelve or fourteen years of doing this, I would, but. You know. <laughs> so you see, he's brought that up to thirty pounds of pressure. There's a water bag in there. Okay. So it's just water pressure going to it. So to make one of your fur hats, you said they sit for a week at least. Yeah. How long does it take from start to finish? Well, at least a week, and then with the good beaver hats. It's probably uh, eight hours of labor that goes into it. Wow. So you uh, must have a lot of craftsmen then working with you. Yeah. We get uh, just getting into our busy time. Now. Well, I bet, right? I mean, that's one of the reasons why we thought it'd be something to let our listeners know about too. Is rodeo season is just around the corner, right? Yeah. Just what? Beginning of April it starts, eh? It's kind of already kind started. Of started. We had yeah. bull riding already last. Houston's on right now, but yeah, around here it's not so early. Yeah. yeah. The rodeo guys have the different styles of hats, right? Everybody wants their own little twist on the hat they're wearing. It's part of who they are, so it's their identity. So does Mike LaBelle have a twist? Yeah. <laughs> well, we know he has a twist. I'm like, wow, that was a loaded statement that. right but there. I meant, I meant yeah. specifically his hat. Right? <laughs> He's a rodeo reporter, right? Yeah. So. yeah, I've known Mike for 30 years. So, yep. so what, what, how would his hat look a little different? Well, he, just, he, he likes a certain shape to his hat, so he tells me what he wants, and that's what I like. I'm sure he just tells you what he wants. That yeah. sounds like Mike. Yeah. So I gave him what he should wear, and he brought it back, and... Changed it. <laughs> <laughs> but the different shapes are flattering for different face shapes and everything. So I can, I can shape the hat to suit you. It okay. doesn't mean you're going to like it necessarily. But Well, I would, I would take your judgment. I have a little head and small face. And hats don't really... <laughs> <laughs> hats don't normally work on me. Yeah, I tend to just, avoid them. You just haven't had one of those. Well, right. You right. haven't had a Smith belt. Haven't had yeah. a Smith belt. All right. Sounds good. So, uh, there we go. See, that's stiffened up again. Oh, yeah. So, is somebody important maybe going to wear this hat? Probably, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So See that? Hmm. We've touched we'll it cut first. The this is another old machine we have. Here. Yeah. 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 So you can see like there's some longer hairs kicking around here though still. See how they're kind of um, a little fuzzy? Little bit, but you have a much more discerning eye than I do, yeah. I'm sure Ted. Maybe you can see it better from this side. Yeah, so let's go on this side and look down. You can see there's kind of like some longer hairs on there. <laughs> it looks like my chin. <laughs> We're gonna open the Smith Belt Spa before we're done today. Some steaming, some some hair burning. This will kind of make it a little more. Oh my! It makes it a little more what? More fine. Fla more. Did you say flammable? No, more fine. 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 I was like, you're making it more flammable. I need to step back. Okay. And that's actually. We're gonna spray some gasoline on it. Holy, Hannah! It's okay. I didn't want to. Okay, but what about the color now? No, we just do this, put up the colors. Yeah. Let me sand it again and it takes away most of the. Okay. Do you do the bath with the shaping and all this? Or did you do it before? Well, this has just been blocked. Okay. So we blocked to push that block in and let it dry. 
flatten the brim out on it because you want the brim really flat and we iron it so that there's no ripples in the brim. So right. when you sand it, you get an even, it's called pouncing actually. Pouncing, okay. It, and then yeah. you would go to the shaping after you've done Yeah, this when then. somebody buys it, then what we want to do, we put it on your head and I'll mark it with chalk so it's lined up because most people's heads are a little bit crooked. I know, yeah. So, yeah, I mean like, for some of the good ones, like you can, that's, this is George Canyon's actually, so, but you can see well, how we love a little George Canyon. It's on country, I'm telling you. I hate to say that he's got a crooked head, that's not that bad, but you can see it's not I know, but it kind of maybe goes with his jawline and everything, yeah. right? Like it's, <laughs> it's all, yeah, it works for him. Finish sanding it. Can I feel it or I'll make it dirty? No, you're all right. Oh, okay. So you can see how much different it gets, eh? Yeah. Yeah. See, because I would never have, I don't know if that's really blonde of me, but I would never have kind of thought it was wool and beaver that you make a cowboy hat out of. So that's news to me. Is that really blonde? Joe's no. laughing at me. Yeah, because this is all the way that we started on Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. Well, it just looks like the stuff that comes in my dryer, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Okay, because I was panicking a little bit for you. <laughs> it's not his first cowboy hat. I guess. Yeah. I haven't lost finger. I have some it. nervous tendencies. <laughs> <if you're laughs> I haven't lost finger in it yet. Awesome. Okay, yeah, that looks totally so different. So then after now. that, it'll go in and she'll soak the sweatband in. Now, right? see, this, you know, a hat gets stepped on by a horse or a cowboy. A good hat, will it go back to its shape? Wait. Well, you can let the steam, you can fix it. Oh, okay. The better the hat, the tougher. Okay. So the difference is with wool, the wool fibers are just like sweater, they're just sort of together. Fur has little barbs on it, so those hairs lock together. Oh, okay. And they're using beaver fur is better because those barbs are twice as long. And so once they're together, they don't pull apart. The so same thing, I just want to warm it up. This one's 100% beaver, total yeah. natural color. Or if you screw up, can you start over? Oh yeah, that's a you good just thing. Need to steam it. Because when you press them like that, it, it stretches the material right. where the crease lines are. Okay. So you can't really change the shape after. But this, if you wanted to change it, you just punch it out, and yeah. shape it another way. How crooked was her head? You can't tell. It doesn't no. Appear. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the inquiring minds would like to know. How crooked is Stephanie Hoff's head? <laughs> that looks, looks like a little bit like a saddle, upside down. Or a shaped toilet seat. Yeah, we've got a lot of nervous people there for sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look it. Is that inside all of your hats or just like a special one like this? That nice, beautiful green. Well, satin. I got different colors. But yeah, oh, yeah. All and then the leather sweat strap as opposed yeah. to. Okay. Yeah, and that's uh, sheepskin or goat skin. So it's really soft. Oh, it is. So that's going to be really comfy. Yeah. Does it help like with some gription too? The cowboy sweat or whatever? And we'll keep it on? Yeah, it's a good Okay. <laughs> That's very nice.